Hello and good Monday, May 12th, 2008. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. JFK Air Guitar fetches $5,000 on eBay. This is a picture of Kennedy entertaining Soviet Premier Khrushchev with a peaceful outer space rock ballad on his one-of-a-kind air guitar. No, by the lefty neck, he probably also skated goofy-footed. This is the only air guitar known to have been owned by US President JFK. He was under constant stress from political rivals and upsets, so it's only natural he would have taken up playing air guitar. Free shipping. Something about stars that you can see that disappear where vantage point is everything. Which, according to the universe today, pretty much comes down to the end of humanity, the end of life, the end of Earth, the end of the Sun, the Milky Way, all the stars and then matter, then whatever holds it, photons and radiation, until everything is absolute zero. On its way to Mars. In two weeks, NASA hopes to have its next Mars lander, Phoenix, touch down on the red planet in the North Polar region where it will dig deep for ice. In heavy collaboration with the University of Arizona for its development of the ARM technology used to obtain and analyze samples of Martian soil, the mission will seek evidence of life. While the University of Arizona is claiming the first university to lead part of a mission to Mars, the University of MISSIISSIPPI, English version, is claiming the first ever graduate with a law degree in space. The National Center for Remote Sensing, Air and Space Law awarded Michael Dodge with the sheepskin. Parchment. Certificate. Well, you don't need a space lawyer to tell you whose fault it is when a star explodes. It's the star's own fault. Known for being older than Grandpa, these stars are named Red Giants for being in their final stages of existence. Luckily, we've got exactly 7.59 billion years to go before that happens, though we might change that. And when they die, the Red Giants can blow out into millions of pieces. Or more. Astronomers in Arizona are taking a closer look at a million red giants to see what's up. By snapping pictures of space periodically, they're looking for any changes from million to million. Interestingly... In this case, they're looking for red giants that just simply disappear instead of blowing up, in case that might be happening. Because if it were, that these old stars might also implode as opposed to explode, and if it implodes... it might lead to a black hole in the fabric of our imaginations. In Houston, Discovery astronauts completed a dress rehearsal for their upcoming lunch. That's odd. Why are astronauts always doing lunches? Oh, it says launch. Wait a minute. It says right here, a dress rehearsal for an upcoming lunch. That's odd. Why are astronauts always talking about lunches? Oh, that says launch. Wait a minute. With a Z, by the way. It says right here, a dress rehearsal for an upcoming lunch, that's odd, so on and so forth, wait a minute, looks up with a Z, it says right here, a dress rehearsal for an upcoming lunch, oh wait a minute, that's odd, why are astronauts always talking about lunches? It says right here, wait a minute, with a Z by the way, it says right here, a dress rehearsal for an upcoming lunch, why are astronauts always doing lunches?